Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blue Zatawa, and today I'm going to be telling you guys, like, showing you guys about these really cute bags that I've been making recently. And by recently, I mean for the past year, um, but, um, I felt compelled to make this video because today I was in fashion class and I was bored, so I got some scraps and I made, I made a tiny little bag like basket thingy it looks like this it's very cute it's it's actually so soft in real life and it's gray on the inside and i sewed this really quickly and then i brought it up to my fashion teacher and i was just like look what i made because like we were actually supposed to be making scrunchies but i've already made a bajillion scrunchies so i brought this up to her and i was just like look what i made and she was just like oh that is so cute Tawa. how do you make one i want to teach the class and so um she gave me some interfacing. I, I, like, I've never actually made one of these bags with interfacing before. This was the first one that I made. And then I made another one. And then I made another one. And I'm pretty sure I have another one somewhere. Um, and But this is the first time I've made one with interfacing. And look how cute it is. Isn't it totally epic? Like, oh my god, it's, it's, it has flowers on it, and it's beige on it, it's actually so cute, I love it so much. Um, and so, I taught my fashion teacher how to make one of these, and tomorrow we're going to be making them in class, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, speaking of tomorrow, Black Veil Brides is going to be releasing the new EP Bleeders, go stream it when it comes out. Um... Anyways, oh yeah, that's right, bags. Um, bags are pretty cool. I like making them. They're fun. You need, like, four pieces of fabric, and you need it to be in a, it's, it's like a square, but then you cut out two little things at the bottom, so it's like a, that shape. And then you want to sew down those three sides, three sides, and then you want to box the corners, and then you want to make two of those. Um, and then... Wait, no, on one of them, you, it needs to have a little gap on the side for, like, turning inside out. And then you want to fold one of the things inside out so it's the right side is facing out. You want to put one inside the other. Then you want to sew it around. And then you want to flip it inside out. And both the right sides should be facing out. And then you push it in, and that, then you make a bag. So, yeah, it, it, like that. And then you want to, like, like, here's a little hole, right? Um for when you flip it inside out and then you want to tuck it in you want to tuck it in like that and it should look like that when it's done and it's it's amazing um this one it, they're great for holding stuff this one holds all of my kinder surprise toys as you can see this thing it's bigger than my head or well, it's about the same size as my head or well, actually wait no it's bigger, and yeah, I, 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 I like Kinder Surprise eggs. Um, I like the toys. This one, this one holds a cup. Wait, no. This one has pencils. I have more pencils. Wait. And then you can put the rock bag inside of the pencil bag. Um, and then this one holds erasers. And then the other two are empty. And I'm... I'm sure that I had another one, but I don't know where that went, and I forgot what fabric I used for it, so I don't actually remember it. Oops. Um. Anyways, also, I, I wanted to tell this cute little story from today. So, like, we were in fat. I mean, we were in product design class, right? So, like, immediately after fashion... We had break, and then we went in for product design. And in product design, it was the, it was in fifth period, my last period of the day. It was um exhausting. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. But like you see, it was kind of annoying because like we're doing um we're doing woodwork and stuff, and so we need to drill a thing, right? And I was drilling it, and like when you're drilling stuff, you need to put a lot of force into it. And I was sweating because of it, right? Of course, because, like, I mean, come on, it's drilling a thing. It's very, very hard. Um, uh, because I'm emo and I have emo bangs that are usually cemented down with a bunch of got to be glued hairspray. Um, the sweat actually made my hairspray and my bangs 
like very very um moist and sticky kind of this sounds disgusting but it gets even worse and you see because i'm drilling into pieces of wood right the sawdust is flying everywhere and it's everywhere and it's everywhere and it lands in my bags and it gets stuck in my bags and um usually like like i brushed my most of the hairspray out today because like i mean i always brush the hairspray out because like i i cannot put my shower cap on if uh, my bangs are in my face um but so th today my hair was styled in a way where my bangs were in my face like that basically um and the sawdust was stuck in my bangs and so for the rest of the day like even now my bangs they they are now they sawdust i am not tall anymore i am sawdust you know how much sawdust there is? Too much. Yeah, and then as I, like, because I went to the gym today as well, I did an epic workout. Um, like, the sword, like, the only thing I could smell was sawdust. As I was making dinner, which, um, I, we had mints, I made mints, I did not eat it though, because I had a leftover lasagna. That was nice. Anyways, we were, I, but anyways, yeah, I smelt the sawdust, just... And now I just smell like sawdust. And sawdust, it's its not fun. And it's I got all of my uniform. And, and it's sawdust. But anyways, yeah, the product design, it's, it's going very well. With my passive amplifier, it's a heart. I cut that out. I sanded it using an electronic sanding machine. So that's sanded and, um... And then I, I'm making the base currently. Yesterday I had to sand down the base so it's at an, an angle. And I need a tube to put inside of it so I was drilling the hole for the tube out. And I'm halfway done. It took me the entire period to drill halfway through. Um, and the next time I'm going into product design will be on um, Tuesday next week. Which is also the same day we have parent-teacher interviews. Um, looking forward to that because I'm getting good grades. I am not, not apprehensive about it in any way. Um, well, I mean sorta, but not. Um, I had guys, by the way, my mom and I, this Saturday we're going to the warehouse and I'm going to get some more got to be glued hairspray because I'm running out. Even though I only got, like, my last bottle, like, three weeks ago, it's already run out. Do I really use 120 milliliters of hairspray per week? Because, like, I got it three weeks ago and the bottle is 360 milliliters. So that's 120 per week. Like, damn, I do use quite a lot of hairspray. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get always updates. Bye-bye.